this is part two of the video. Um, I'm just on my way to the job now. I've just been to pick some stuff up. In the previous video, you'll see that I've been boarding. I've been doing some, putting some insulated plaster boards on the ceiling. And basically now it's time for me to get it all beaded up, scrimmed up and getting ready to skim it all. So I've boarded everywhere yesterday. Uh, I've just given it all a big, bit of a clean now. Um, I'm just making a start putting all the scrim, scrim in now. I've cut back all the foam. So it's just a case of me putting some, a stock bead up here. I'm gonna try a different way today. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I tried using the mitre glue, but I've got some different glue to try today. Right, so this is the stuff I'm trying today. Well, you can see it there. So I'm gonna see what, how this works. So it just basically says you, you spray both sides and give it a couple of coats and then just push it on. So that's what I'm gonna try. So I just tried it and uh, yeah, it's really good. I've stuck it on there. Yeah, it's really good. I'm quite impressed with that. I even had to try and pull it off to move it and it was stuck really hard. So yeah, this stuff's really good. I've got a few beads on now, so those sections there are ready, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this done first because I want to get this middle piece done first. And I'll probably get that other end there today. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stick a bead along here as well, and that'll give me a nice straight line as well. Obviously on the other side. I don't know if you can see here, but I've got the extra wide scrim just going along here, just for some extra strength. Um, I always think it's important when uh, especially with insulated boards and um, that you give it as much strength as you can possibly give it as you as you're doing it so that's why i've done that there right one thing i will mention is that with stop beads they always seem to bend off at the end so you always have to cut them but it's the same with every one so if you want stop beads to actually meet you have to cut the ends off and to make sure that you'll have two flat pieces meeting. Right, so this is all now ready for getting skimmed. Um, all the stock beads are on, it's all scrimmed up. Um, everything's meeting nicely. So I've done a good job boarding, so I'm happy with how everything's gone. Right, I'm just gonna start mixing now. So I've got everything, I've got my water ready. My mixer's got a new battery in it. Board finish is here. Right, let's get these two bits on now. Well, it's turned out to be not a bad day, I think. Uh, so I've got this area here and my triangles, and I've got one over there. That's gonna do me for today. Right guys, I'm ready to just chuckle this on. Uh, today, I have a new trial to try out. So 
I think you all know I've been trying out the uh, Carter 101s. They've just sent me a new one to try, so I'll give that a whirl today as well at some point. Um, right, so I'm going to chuck on this big one here and this one here, and then afterwards I'll chuck this one here. And it will all be done, and then I'll probably come back tomorrow and give it all a good clean. I'm going to chuck a mix on and get this big part on now. So, just giving it its first trial, I'm going to get straight over it again. It's quite a big one, this one. It's a bit awkward with the scaffolding, but it is what it is. But yeah, it's starting to um, get there a bit now. I'm going to put another trial over it now.
Right, so I've finished for today. I'm going to come back tomorrow and give everywhere a clean and get it all sorted. Um, it's getting a bit late now, so... Right, in the morning. Right, so this is the next day. Um, I've been doing a bit of cleaning already. Uh, I've got all my scaffolding out. So it's just a case of me giving the floor a bit of a clean now. Um, it's gone really well. I'm really happy. So... And my angles are looking pretty good now. Last bit of cleaning and then I'll show you how it all looks at the very end. So, one thing that a lot of people don't realise is the amount of cleaning it takes on a conservatory, especially on one like this. So, <clears throat> I'm just giving it one final big brush round now, but yeah, I've, it's taken a fair few hours just to get it to this stage now, so I've just got to clean the floors now, but yeah, it is very time consuming. But if you can try and save some of it, do it. Right, I'll just finish the last bit up. <sighs> right guys, so this room's finally finished. Um, it's all looking good now. I've given it a nice clean. I've even given the floor a bit of a wipe. All done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do like them, please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks guys.